Hi people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Arpita Karwa and this video is in continuation uh, with the video wherein I am discussing seven important points that you must keep in mind if you are preparing for UGC net and if you want to attack the UGC net syllabus in complete it within a short span. In the last video, I have already discussed four important pointers and in this video, I am going to discuss the last three. Now, before we move on to the last three pointers i would like to tell you that there's a short gift that i have given to all the best comments that i have picked up in my last video and i have given a shout out to all these best comments on all my social media platforms so if you have not followed me yet on the social media platform the links are given in the description below and do follow me and see who are the people who have been rewarded for the best comments also at the same time i would like to tell you that it is important to go to the last video and just have a short recap on what we have learned the first point that i discussed in the last video was the importance of making notes the second point that i discussed was what should be your approach when you are tackling paper one and paper two and how your approach to tackle different topics of each papers are important because your approach is what is going to give you extra marks the third point as we all know i have been focusing from a lot of my videos is the importance and power of focus so it is only through focus we understood that you can get your target that you can be consistent in your preparation and how consistency can help you achieve the dream job that you're looking forward to do the fourth and the final point we discussed in the last video was about how you need to practice MCQs every day if you want to stand high in your degree on the day of the exam. And why is MCQ practicing so important? Because we realize the fact that on the day of the exam, it is MCQs that you have to face. So even if you've done a lot of theoretical reading and if you've not yet practiced MCQs, then you might find yourself lacking somewhere on the day of the exam. It is only by practicing what will be asked on the day of the exam, you get it right. So make sure that you practice 20 MCQs from paper 1 and 20 MCQs from paper 2 every single day. And can you believe how many MCQs will you be able to solve in 3 months if you follow this practice? So if we calculate 20 MCQs for 30 days, that gives us 600 MCQs. And 600 into 3 months gives us 1800 MCQs. This is only the number of MCQs you'll do for one paper. So if you total 1800 and 1800, that is 3600 questions you would be able to tackle before for the exam and on the day of the exam you just have to solve another 150 questions so a person who has already solved 3600 questions can you see what kind of confidence he would be having when he would be sitting in front of the computer screen tackling the question paper so i wish you that kind of confidence and i wish you all the best for the exam so now without any further delay let's jump right into the topic and let's see what are the three missing components that is going to complete the seven part wheel that can ensure your success on the day of UGC net exam. The fifth component which forms the part of that wheel is time management. I know that most of you who are watching my videos, they are either working professionals or there are students who are enrolled in masters and who are trying to balance how to tackle all the responsibilities at the college and simultaneously prepare for UGC net. So for all those people who want to know how you can manage your entire day, I would like to tell you that balance is the key. One without the other is a lost proportion. So if you're trying to uh, prepare for a competitive exam, make sure that you make yourself realize that there is sufficient amount of time that you have with you using which you can fulfill all the other responsibilities. For example, if you decide that I would be studying for UGC net for six hours every day. If you look at six hours, you might find that you still have 18 hours in hand when you can fulfill all the other responsibilities that you have with you. 
So it's not that you don't have enough time. It's the only thing that you don't know how to manage your time. That is extremely important. So make sure that when you're preparing for a competitive exam, you get enough time to your preparation and also you give time to all the other aspects of your life. Make sure you meditate every day, you give time for your physical exercise, be it 15 minutes, but make sure your body feels rejuvenated. Make sure you spend some quality time with your friends and family also, be it half an hour. You might talk to your best friend for half an hour and next day you might speak to your mother for half an hour and have a very fulfilling conversation. And that is how you're not going to feel as if you are making yourself suffer. Preparation should be a beautiful journey. Only when the preparation is beautiful, the outcome, the achievement that you're going to get is going to make even more value. So make sure you study happily and also give time to all the other aspects of your life. The next important component which most of the toppers speak about is a mentor. Now we all know what is the syllabus and what are the books that we can refer in order to complete that syllabus. But still, you might be feeling at times that you don't know how to tackle a particular topic, what to study, what not to study. You might find that a particular concept or a particular topic is not making any sense to you. This is where the mentor is going to play a very crucial role. So make sure that when you're preparing for an exam, you have a mentor or teacher who can guide you about what to study, what not to study. There's a mentor who can actually solve all your doubts and there's a mentor who can tell you how you have to approach a particular topic and who can explain you the topic so beautifully that you don't have to invest a lot of time looking at on Google or make or you know maybe reading a lot of books in order to understand the concept. The role of a mentor or role of a teacher is to explain the topic so simply to simplify it to that level that you get it in 15 minutes. A topic for which you might have to sit and struggle for six hours or seven hours, the mentor can actually explain that to you in 15 minutes. And that is what we are trying to do in our online course. So if you look at our online course, you will find that we are trying to simplify each and every topic like literary theory, literary criticism, all the works of major writers in such a simple format that you don't have to uh, struggle reading all these long summaries or go through all these long PDFs. You just need to put your headphones, listen to the lecture, absorb it and once you're done, you feel that okay, I'm so confident about that particular writer and all his works. So that is how a mentor is going to make the challenge uh, drift away from your preparation and can help you make this journey even more beautiful. The last and the most important component which I would like to talk about before we end this video is our ability to handle failures. Guys, we all have a fear of failure bubbling inside us whenever we think about not qualifying this exam and because of this fear of failure we are not able to perform the way we should there are a lot of students who regularly call our counselors and share their worries that ma'am we are preparing so much kya hoga agar hum nahi kar paaye ma'am meri zindagi ruk jayegi agar maine itni mehnat kari aur ye exam clear nahi hua ma'am i can't even think of giving the exam mujhe lagta hai agar nahi hua to how am i going to face my parents ma'am main apni zindagi mein kuch nahi kar paunga agar maine ye exam clear nahi kiya and so many other questions bubbling in their head aur in sare questions ko agar aap likhte hain and uski jad pe jate hain to aapko pata chalega that only one thing is stopping you and one thing is creating so much anxiety in you and that one thing is fear of failure Yesterday night, I watched a very, very nice movie which I would like to share with all of you and I would like to see all of you hitting the cinema hall and watching that movie and learning something from it. The movie was Chichore, directed by the director of Dangal. It is having uh, Sushant Singh Rajput and Shraddha Kapoor as the uh, main lead characters and it's a beautiful movie showcasing how we Indians have never equipped ourselves to हैंडल फेलियर्स हम सब जिंदगी में बहुत मेहनत करते हैं कोई गोल अचीव करने का बट उस जर्नी के दौरान हम इतना ज़्यादा अपने आप को अटैच कर लेते हैं उस गोल से दैट इवन द 
thought of not getting what we are trying to achieve shatters us and shatters us like hell in that movie there's the son who prepares for je exam son of sushant singh rajput and shraddha kapoor preparing for je exam and when he finally finds out that he has not cleared that exam he jumps off from building just because he can't live with the tag i'm a loser usko ye lagta hai ki agar usne ek exam clear nahi kara to wo zindagi mein kuch nahi kar payega and towards the end of the movie he decides to go to another college and he says a very beautiful line that life is all about living life ka aur koi purpose nahi hai the beauty of life is in living that life and the journey needs to be beautiful not the destination it's not about whether we clear net or not it's about we love the journey of preparing for this exam when you are looking at different topics which you've never heard of or which were alien to you and you're trying to understand that and finally you were able to get something out of it that is what makes the journey beautiful we don't need to attach ourselves to the fact of winning this exam to the fact of qualifying this exam it's more important to enjoy the journey make sure that you don't feel that you'll be a loser if you will not be able to qualify this exam i have seen a lot of students calling our counseling cell every day saying that bahut anxiety ho rahi hai kya hua agar exam nahi hua kya hoga agar maine jo padha hai wo nahi aaya kya hoga agar main exam mein wo perform nahi kar paunga jitna main mehnat kar raha hu so if you look at all these questions and you try to look at the root the root would be fear of failure hum soch nahi sakte agar hum haar jayenge itni mehnat karne ke bawajood i'm really 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 looking forward to see all of you watching this movie and understanding the fact that loser wo nahi hota jo jeet nahi pata loser wo hota hai jo apna best nahi deta steve jobs ki ek amazing line hai jo main hamesha apne students ko bolti rehti hu that today you should decide to do the best work of your entire life that's it it's not the outcome it's about the journey aaj agar aapne best tarike se padhai kari that is what you should appreciate yourself for it's not that whether you're going to win the exam or not life mein bahut sari aise challenges aise exams aayenge jo ho sakta hai aap clear na kar paaye but कब तक हम डरते रहेंगे इस फैक्ट से कब तक हम भागते रहेंगे लेट्स फेस इट विनिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट लूजिंग इज इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट विनिंग इज गोइंग टू गिव यू अ लाइफ लेसन एंड विनिंग एंड लूजिंग बोथ इज गोइंग टू गिव यू अ लाइफ लेसन दैट इज वॉट यू नीड टू चेंज इन योर सेल्फ इट्स नॉट द डेस्टिनेशन इट्स नॉट द गोल इट्स द जर्नी टूवर्ड्स दैट गोल दैट मेक्स इट ब्यूटिफुल सो मेक श्योर यू स्टार्ट एम्ब्रेसिंग सक्सेस एज वेल एज फेलियर्स इक्वली एंड शॉट अप्रिशिएटिंग योर सेल्फ फॉर द फिनल पर्सन यू आर आई विश यू अ वेरी वेरी कूल एंड काम स्टडी पीरियड एंड आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर द अपकमिंग नेट एग्जाम इफ यू फेसिंग एनी डेफिनेटिव चैलेंज वेल यू प्रिपेरिंग फॉर दिस एग्जाम मेक श्योर यू राइट टू आस इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू आई एम गोइंग टू रीड ऑल दोज कॉमेंट्स पर्सनली एंड गोइंग टू टैकल ईच ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चन इन माई अपकमिंग वीडियोज विशिंग यू ऑल द बेस्ट फ्रॉम माई साइड एंड फ्रॉम द साइड ऑफ द इंटायर अर्पता करवा डॉट कॉम That's it for this video lecture. We'll meet very soon in our next video lecture. Till the time we meet next. Happy learning. Keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwar.com.